What's happening? What's up? Uh, you're making a huge mistake. If you do this to your computer, and almost everybody does, then you are a this head, right? A this head. <laughs> Maybe that's too extreme. It's a piece of poo, right? Get it? Poo head. What are you doing that everybody else is doing? I, I made some articles, I mean some videos, the past few days on hard drives. Mm, yeah, hard drives. How to protect them, data protection methodology. I gave links to the articles I wrote for Apple. I've also got articles that I wrote on uh, how to take care of your MacBook Pro Mac. But what are you doing? doesn't matter if you're using Mac or Windows, okay? Someone said to me, actually I had a few people say to me, it's like, yeah, well, you know, your new MacBook has got only 256 gig. I mean, I wouldn't care if it had 64. I mean, my MacBook Air has only got a 64 gig solid state drive in it. You know what? I don't give a crap. It is more than big enough. What do you mean? Because I, more so, yeah, this sounds egotistical. It's not. Listen up. It's a fact. I mean, I got hundreds of hard drives. I got more data than, you know, most of you watching combined. I mean, my God, I got a lot of data. The mistake everybody makes is that they think, imagine this this little flimsy table here is my computer. Everybody thinks that this is also their filing cabinet. You see this little thing here called a computer? I don't care if it's a desktop or a laptop. No computer is a data storage device. Let me repeat that again because 99.9% .9 of everybody out there with a computer does not understand this. They don't. No computer on earth is a data storage device. No computer on earth is a data storage device. It's not. There are an endless number of reasons why you should not even think. If you are not using it on a weekly basis, then it does not belong in your computer. Absolutely does not. It is true for like uh, file editing and whatnot. You do need, at the very minimum, about 30% of your hard drive or solid state drive free, especially if you're a video editor. Enough room to move stuff around, enough elbow room to get crap done. Every computer is a desktop, like this, you see? A desktop. That means this is where I get shit done. Where I get shit done is not where I store things, okay? You got to know how you take your food out of the refrigerator and you heat it up and you, like, eat it. Yeah, exactly. You, you don't keep that stuff, you know, on your dining room table. No, you keep it in the refrigerator, don't you? Unless you're about to consume it, it's in the refrigerator, isn't it? Or it's in a can. In my case, it's in a can. <laughs> Everybody keeps making a mistake, and I keep encountering it all the time. People are like, oh my god, my computer crashed, my data's gone. It's like, ugh. Why didn't you have multiple redundancies? And secondly, why are you storing like pictures of your Fluffy the Cat that you took like five years ago? And you're, that stuff does not belong in your computer. The most important thing that hardcore professionals do is they make consistent clones of their hard drive or solid state drive. After I loaded all those programs on my new MacBook Pro, I've set up hundreds of computers. I, I'm not, I mean, I've owned over these many years, you know, well over a hundred, but I've set up hundreds for not only including myself, but for other people. Not hundreds for me, but hundreds in total. Is you make a clone of your hard drive. So it is a complete clone. There's Carbon Copy Cloner. There's Super Duper, which is the name of the program. It's totally free. It is a bootable clone. If you don't know what a bootable clone is, Google it. What the hell is a bootable clone? That means if this computer, you know, crashes and burns, you know, falls off the table, whatever, and is toast, I have a bootable clone that I could use to immediately buy another one and mirror all of that information back on to the new machine. Also, too, you feel me? If you pack around hardcore pros, pack around a bootable, a bootable clone on a 5mm hard drive, it's not that big. You know, 5mm hard drive don't take up no space. If their computer gets lost or stolen or crashes, all they have to do is buy another, especially on a Mac, you just boot, you just go into uh, system settings and utilities and choose the uh, attached hard drive on the new computer that is completely a blank slate. Just say, boot from this. It will restart and it will boot from that and it will be exactly like the computer you had. And then you could mirror everything back 
I mean, do you know how long it takes to set up a new computer? Do you, 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 do you? It takes a long time. All those bookmarks. Oh, my God. I mean, if you realize how much time you spent pissing away setting up a new computer, when's the last time you bought a new computer? It's like, well, i got to stick all my applications on here. i got to arrange shit a certain way. I, might, I want things to look a certain way. I want certain bookmarks. You know, all the stuff that you primp and prune on your computer, on a new computer, it's like, damn, it took me a long time to set up my new computer. Not me. I mean, I'm able to do it really, really fast now. That is another reason why you don't keep a bunch of data on your computer. If you're not using it every week, it shouldn't be, ah, ah, should not be on your computer. Your filing cabinet doesn't sit here, does it? No, the filing cabinet's over there. Isn't that right? Isn't that the way it works? Yeah? Filing cabinet, extraneous data, stuff that you're not using on a weekly basis. Cold storage. It's like, yeah, I've got this uh, two gigabyte movie that I watched a month ago and it's still on my laptop. Why is it on your laptop? Move it off to a hard drive or delete it. I'm not about deleting things, but move it off. Storage is really, really, really cheap now. Cheap. But it doesn't belong in your computer. You see, also, when you have a crap load of files in your computer, making a bootable clone is a pain in the crotch. Because it takes a while to make a bootable clone. What real hardcore pros do, okay, you hear, you listening, you listening? What real hardcore pros do is they make a pair of revolving clones. They'll make two clones, and then what they'll do is a month, depends on the workflow, a month or a week, or maybe two months later, they will clone it again onto one hard drive. Same period of time later, they'll, work, they'll clone it, the new updated on the set. So that's a revolving pair of bootable clones. Look up what the hell a bootable clone is. Bootable clone means it's an exact copy down to the letter of your solid state drive or your hard drive. Every hardcore working pro, the magic sexy words, sexy, <laughs> the sexy words are bootable clone. I swear to God, 99.9% .9 of the people out there with a computer, I don't care if it's a desktop or a laptop, they're screwing up. It's like, where do you keep your files at? Well, they're on my computer. <coughs> no. Oh, what's wrong with my computer? It's got a hard drive in it. You know what? No. <coughs> that is not where your data goes. Your computer is for getting shit done. GSD. This is a GSD machine. Doesn't matter if it's a, a laptop or a desktop. This is a GSD. Getting shit done device. It should be a GSDD. Okay? GSDD. Getting shit done device. If you got pictures on there of Fluffy, your pet bunny rabbit, or like, uh, you know, I don't know what the hell ever, like music you haven't listened to since you were drunk the last time, you know, <laughs> that stuff should not be on your computer. This is why I like my MacBook Air, which has only got a 60. I, uh, yeah, 60, yeah, yeah, it's a 62 gig hard drive. I don't care. Right now, I've loaded up the, my MacBook Pro to the gills with applications, every browser imaginable. I, it took me about eight hours to just, wah, dump everything on there. About eight hours. It's a new operating system. I had to tweak things. I just couldn't clone something onto there randomly. So it took longer, but it was still really fast. The totality of what's on there, and it's a 256 gig hard drive. I mean, I don't need that much, but that's the bare minimum on that one, is 39 gigabytes. And that's including the operating system, which was already taking up uh, like 24 gigs. So all those applications, everything, you know, totality of everything, including the OS, is 39 gigs. That makes a bootable clone really fast and easy. Boot, boot, boot. Just copy it, clone it. I can take that bootable clone, go to the other side of an Earth, plug that into another Mac. You could do that with Windows as well. Just choose that as the boot up disk or the start up disk. And my entire computer, 100% carbon copy clone, which is the name of uh, the application, by the way. I don't use carbon copy cloner, I use super duper. It's a free application. Carbon copy cloner costs money. Cheapskate, a clone is a clone. You know, it doesn't matter if it's an expensive program that clones. Super Duper is really reliable, by the way. So that's it. Think about making bootable clones of your computer and stop using your damn computer as a storage device because it's not. It's a getting shit done device. GSDD, get shit done.
So many people make that huge mistake. It's like, I got my files on my computer. And I'm like, eh. big mistake. I can make a list of like 20 different reasons or more why that's a mistake. Steak. Steak. <sighs> mistake. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Keep that in mind because I guarantee you, you're probably making that mistake right now. Just the same as everybody else is. And it's wrong. Okay? Bye. Ba-da-ba-da-ba. Ba-da-da-da-da-ba. Ba-da-da-da-ba. Ba-da-da-da-ba.